your host with the most, Post 90s. And I am the Hitman Kai. And welcome to another edition of the Born and Born Podcast. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's get started. Uh, the other day, the Knicks were playing the Raptors in, in a game that was honestly nothing short of heartbreaking. Shit show. From what I can remember, the Knicks had a good lead in, in the middle of the game, but then, like they usually do, they blew the lead, and, and we lost. And, and look who's playing defense. <laughs> Derrick Rose at all people of the game winning shot. <laughs> it's fucking lackluster defense. But all, but all man, during that game, I saw something that got me really annoyed. What's that? Um, freaking back, back during the final seconds of the game, um, back when Melo was going to take a shot, some dude from the Raptors was was holding on to Courtney Lee. But like like he was literally holding on holding on to his back, preventing him from moving. Damn. And the ref and the ref wasn't calling it or, or anything. Well, it never should have got down to that. They had no Kyle Lowry. <laughs> we should have honestly took care of business, man. We need these wins if we want to make the playoffs, but we obviously not make the playoffs the way we should have gone. It's, it's terrible. Yeah, that and freaking what's his face? Um is reported that Kyle Lowry is out for the season. Uh, do, would you would you like to say anything on that? Uh, Kyle Lowry, uh, he he'll be back. He'll be he's out for the season, but he'll be back for that playoff push. Hmm. Uh, if, if see if he's he's rusty or not, it, it might fuck him up. But who knows? We'll see. I really don't care because the Knicks are not making the playoffs. So yeah, I, I <laughs> who mean, cares? I mean, Raptors probably probably ain't gonna be going far as long as the Cavs are still holding shit down. But they got some pieces though that can make them go far. Sergi Baca and PJ Tucker who play defense. Yeah. That's what you need at the end of the day. You need people to play defense. Yeah, Phil but, Jackson. Yeah, but I think Rick, with the additions that the Cavs added, like Kyle Corver, that like making them even more deadly, they're gonna be a serious problem in the East. Yeah. Like honestly, I see no, like, I, I see no teams right now that can that are any type of like threat to anybody in. I mean, like anybody that is like any type of threat to the Cavaliers. I, I see a couple threats. Because I, I mean, because I mean, look, look, let's let's look at, at the Pacers. Um, when I when I think of them, all oh, 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 they got is Paul George. Yeah, but they're not a team that, that that's competing with them. Yeah, and I mean like they're in, they're in playoff contention, but that's only because of Paul George. I, I, I'd like to think of him as like a new age Allen Iverson, where, where <laughs> I don't mean well sort of skill wise, but like I mean it by like he's the only good thing going for that team, like how Demarcus Cousins was with the Sacramento Kings. Kings is still a couple games out the eighth spot. Pelicans are like what number eleven? Yeah. It's, but, I don't know. But you know, I saw the funniest thing one time. Freaking the the Kings were playing the the Nuggets, and the Nuggets were down by by about like I think four. And then freaking somebody inbounded the ball to Kyle Lowry. I mean, I mean, um, Ty Lawson. And and Ty Lawson just just let the ball roll on the floor to let the clock run out. He wasn't and and, and the funniest thing about it, it basically told the whole story of the Nuggets defense because no one on the Nuggets was trying to pick up the ball, trying to stop him or do anything. <laughs> then, like he was like literally Ty Lawson was just walking the for like a, he was bur- he was literally burning twenty seconds, and the ball was just rolling down the court, and no one on on, on the Nuggets. Ran up, to, ran up to stop him. Freaking Jameer Nelson, who was his matchup, was just staring at him, wondering what he was doing. And I'm like, nigga, do, do, do you want to win this game? He is running down the clock. Until finally he got to the other side of the court when that's when Nelson finally decided to step up and try and take him. Yeah, hold on. But, is a bum, just like Brandon Jennings. But, you know, back to the Knicks. I read an article... Um, 
Porzingis was was interviewed and he said like the biggest reason as to why the Knicks aren't doing much is because of a lack of chemistry. He said he said that like going into every game is basically every man for himself. No one's looking out for anybody. You can obviously see that on the court though. Yeah. <laughs> look at their play. Look yeah. how they play. Yes. Yeah. Look, there's no way that team should be under 500 with with those guys. You got to buy into the system and you got to compete. I don't understand why these guys are not comp- like they're competing, but they're not winning. These are games that they need to win. Yeah, but yeah, but here's the thing, you know. Uh, I've always I've always felt this, and I still feel it to the, to this day that like it, it doesn't matter how good a team, how, how much talent they got, how, how stacked they are. If they ain't got team chemistry, if they can't coexist, then all that talent don't mean a damn thing. Yeah, you're right. I mean, you're the, right. I mean, the, the, let's the, the, let's look at the Heat when when they first made the super team with James Wade and and Bosh. Uh, like it, it wasn't it wasn't that good for them starting off, and they didn't and they didn't win the finals that, that very first year. So yeah, but they, they still but they they still went there. And, you know what I mean? Well, still got there. Yeah, or or better yet, another, another example, which was which was you know, I suppose it, which w- would have been a suit which was a super team on paper, but because of chemistry, it didn't pan out the same way. Which was uh, the Lakers back when they had Howard and Nash. Like legit, if if they if the chemistry was there, they would they would have been killing, they, they would have destroying people in the West. Yeah, but Steve Nash was like mad old at the time. Oh, also that freaking um, Nash lost lost the pat lost his passion to play. Of course, you don't lose your passion playing with Kobe Bryant. Because freaking <laughs> because because he admitted on an interview. That that at that point in his career, he didn't play for the love of the sport. He just played for the money. And and how and, and the thing with Dwight Howard, he just he just couldn't um, get along with Kobe Bryant. Something something just wasn't working. Something something just wasn't clicking. And that's what and that's what's going on with the Knicks. That like whatever's going on with the team, they just they just can't find a way to to work together. Let me say something. seen something about about uh Drew Holiday. Man, listen, we just need to draft one of these young studs and develop them. We haven't developed a player since I don't even know freaking Patrick Ewan. <laughs> the last player we developed at the draft. Besides KP going right now. Um who? Who? Dang. Exactly. You can't even remember. We need to develop somebody and make them a household name. That again after these guys and create some fuck Drew Holiday. Excuse my French. Forget him. We don't need him. We, we gonna break his leg. No, we don't need him, man. I'm sorry. I mean, he. I mean, he, he's not that bad. He's not bad, but we don't need him. We need to go young. He, he's. I think he's young. He's, he's young, but he needs a young stud. We don't need a guy that's in the battle with injuries his whole career. You know what I mean? Come on. Yeah, uh, I hear you. Like Derrick Rose. And like I'll like also freaking the Knicks uh, waived uh, what's the space Brandon Jennings, so they could free up some space. Because he sucks. <laughs> you, and you know it, it's, it's it's a funny thing about Jennings. You know, one minute I saw this dude freaking drop 50, 55 when he was on the box. Now he can't. Now he can't do shit. His rookie year. Hey, he he still dropped fifty five. And on top of that, freaking when he when he dropped so much points, he broke the Bucks record for most points in the game. Yeah, that may be true and all, but it's true now that he's an old bum. <laughs> That's what he always will be. Yeah, he's a bum now. Sorry, Brandon Jennings, you disappointed this year. It's like everyone on that team, I'm, but Carmelo Anthony and Kyle Quinn. I mean, I I, I think what's his face, uh, Courtney Lee, was putting in more work than he was. Yeah, Courtney Lee's playing his role. I can't complain about him either. Just everyone else, I just don't understand it. I just don't understand what the fuck's going on right now in the Mecca. It's the higher ups. It's the higher ups. An- another, th- an- another thing I want to talk about as far as the NBA goes was a, was a trade deadline. How come nobody made like any significant moves or anything? I mean, the only notable move that was made was when um, the Sacramento Kings. Traded Demarcus Cousins to the Pelicans for, for you know a, a ham sandwich and a cup of coffee. Mm-hmm. 
Nah, there were a couple moves, but it, it, it was it was really nothing, you know. Nothing was really going on. There's a whole bunch of role players, no no big trades, no no big names. I thought, I thought Jimmy Butler was gonna go, but hey, it is what it is. Man, why the hell would the Bulls get rid of Jimmy Butler? Get them damn draft picks. But but dude, Rick and Jimmy Butler's on the rise. Yeah, go young before you look like the Knicks. And so. then there was also the report of, uh, like, all, all the shitty rumors of, um, what's his face, of frickin' Paul George being traded to another team, none of which I believed because I always kept thinking in the back of my mind, why the hell would the Pacers get rid of him? He's going to be a Lakers. A Laker? What the hell? What, now, why the hell would he go to the Lakers? Perfect. It makes perfect sense. I, I think he's from there, to be honest. Man. Man, who wouldn't want to play for Magic Johnson? Best point guards ever. Fuck that. Who, you, you mean who wouldn't want to play for Phil Jackson? Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, fuck that. Excuse my French. Freak that. That's what you mean. Who, who wants? I wouldn't want to play for Phil Jackson if I was on the market right now. He called me trying to get a, get a meeting showing interest. I'm like, uh uh-uh. I put my phone the other way. And what's so bad about playing for the next boy? Ain't nothing bad playing with the Knicks. It's who you, it's who you're playing for. You're playing for Phil Jackson. And what's wrong with Phil, and, and Phil Jackson? He's he, playing he, for he James Dolan. He's playing with James Dolan. If he's gonna treat a, a future Nick like that, that that actually brung him to the promised land, but didn't win anything, you think he's gonna treat a regular guy like me <laughs> yeah. or someone else? Yeah, I mean, and, and you know it's crazy that like a regular mm, black man at that. And you know it's crazy because freaking this whole controversy with Charles Oakley, like that was that, like that was clouding the whole next season. Well, 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 like the next season for the moment. That's not clouding anything. That, hey, no, hey, that, hey, that, hey, that hey well, is hardy hard talk. Hey, well, well, freaking they, they were talking about that more than they were talking about the actual Knicks playing. Cause the Knicks suck. <laughs> they they don't suck, man. They're in a slump. All right, they're in a slump. They've been in the slump for the past four years. It, it, They've been in the slump for the past four years. It's, it, it, it's been rough, man. It's been rough. But just like any kind of slump, we're going to get through it eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hardy hard. All right. Switching, uh, switching over to the, to the next. All right. Switching over to the next uh, subject matter. We, we got to talk about the Pelicans. And how they got Cousins and, and Davis working together. Now, last time I saw two dominant centers, um, honestly, honestly, like, no, only two dominant centers that I could think working together, uh, you know, coexisting on the same team. I, I, I think of um, the old school Rockets of the early 90s, you know, the Twin Towers, Rick and uh, um, Olajuwon and Samson. But that didn't last long because Rick and Samson. He wasn't even alive. Because Samson's like to an old. Hey, hey, man, I, I, I still did, did my research, man, back when I was younger. Hey. But, you know, they, but like their, their, their cohesion didn't last long because I think, uh, what's his face? Um, Samson retired early be, because, it, because, it, because he uh, broke his leg and then, like, his legs were never the same. Yeah, but but then there was also another time where there were two centers on the team on, on the same team, but like they were both towards the latter half of their career. And again, it was the Rockets. It was, but it was um, this time it was Olajuwon and uh, Kevin Willis. He wasn't even alive for none of that. Oh yes, I <laughs> yes I was. That 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 was the late nineties. Yeah. Yeah. You remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but back when, back when, um, freaking Drexler and Barkley won the team, Listen. and 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 Barkley was was desperately trying to get a ring, but failed miserably. All I know is that give the Pelicans this this off season to regroup and and restructure their team around these big guys, get them a passing point guard. You know what I mean? 
a, sh a sh actual shooting guard, a sniper, and he's just fiend out. You know what I mean? He's just wild out. Yeah, I think they'll be good after that. But also, <laughs> but now, when I'm thinking of another team that made some deals over the trade deadline, I'm thinking of the Sixers. I think they're trying to tank again because they dealt freaking Nerlens Nolan, Noel to the Mavericks for God knows who. And Nerlens Noel wasn't that bad, but but I, th I think he had room to improve. But they got too many big men, that's why. Yeah. yeah they, had, they had to get rid of someone. And Okafor is better than Noel. Yeah, yeah I, I guess there's that. But... But uh, but do you th but do you think that the Sixers are gonna tank this season because because what's his face freaking um that their the rookie freaking Ben Simmons got injured and now he's out, and now he's out for the season. Well, listen, I I said this before. I said this plenty of times. Ben Simmons is nothing but a great A role player. So I don't really care. Philly's gonna be nice though in the future. Give him a couple years and they're gonna stock up on these young guys and. and Run the league, watch. I don't know. Warriors who? Well, you know, as long as they don't screw it up, because for the moment, part of me wants to compare them to the Nets, but the Nets are... are nah, the Nets are atrocious. They traded all their draft picks for a whole bunch of old farts. That they thought they were going to win the championship. They beat the Heat in one game, and they thought they were... Nah, I think that was actually seven games, serious. Yeah, 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 they, they took it to seven. Yeah, they took it to seven. Yeah, they actually did. Damn. See, you niggas should gamble but 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 they're gonna be pretty pretty bent for a few years. Yeah, a few. <laughs> but but now, um, pretty freaking. No, let's switch over from bas basketball to wrestling. The best sport. Uh, now, I, I want to start off with this other podcast. The whole effing show. Now, normally I I have no problem with the whole effing show. I really like what they have to say. Like a majority of their opinions, like will like mirrored mine. Like like a majority of stuff they say, I always agreed with. But some of the stuff they've said, they've said recently, I really can't get behind. Like one thing that I stuck out in particular was when um, Naomi won the the woman's title. At elimination chamber, and then the next night on SmackDown, the crowd was saying "You deserve it," but um, I think his name was Kevin Scapoli, uh, one of the hosts of the whole show, felt that she doesn't deserve it. Now, now back then, you know, at first she was just an athlete, like just a straight up athlete. But then eventually she polished her, her wrestling skills and paid her dues. So why wouldn't you deserve it? Man, listen. All that is is hate and racism. You know what I mean? Like, what do you mean she doesn't deserve it? That girl, nothing to something. She was a cheerleader for one of the worst wrestlers I've ever seen in my life. Not not, not counting Brodus Clay. I'm talking about her fucking tag team partner. Freaking, uh, what was this? Freaking Cameron, yo, Cameron. I, I will, yo, I will she never. Oh, she sucks. I will never forget on Tough Enough where this nigga Steve Austin asked for their favorite match, and she said Melina versus Alicia Fox. Oh my goodness <laughs> gracious! Any match with Alicia Fox in there, you think that oh, shit is oh good? Good God! Yo, but yo, freaking, what? What's your favorite match of all time? My favorite match of all time. Shit, that's a hard ass one. Yo, people gonna people gonna people gonna clown me for this, but the I quit match between Chavo Guerrero and Rey Mysterio, I could watch that which, match. Which, which one? The, which one? That that too? And over again, the, the first one they had. I admit that that one was very good. That one was amazing. But I'll admit, part of me part of me was very upset with the ending, considering the fact that freaking Chavo won. I didn't like Chavo at the time. Chavo was the man. Yo, people did not respect. I like Chavo. No, 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 no. I, no. He always overshadowed him. I don't know why. Now, the thing is, I didn't like him back then because I was young and like, and like, you know how it is when you're young, where you, yeah. where you just, you chill, just chill yeah, yeah, you chill the faces, boo the heels. Chavo was heels, so yeah. 
yeah. his dad just like yo it, it was cool how he was just team with his, his dad like that and they would just they would just fuck everything up bro but it was, man yeah. him and Remy shoot was long it was long no, no, after. i'm saying i'm saying like after like because people over overshadowing him and shit like yeah saying a lot of a lot of shit he did was good except for that that when he played the white guy that, that was good. oh kerwin that's white when I, that's when i fall off of him. honestly but you know what uh, one good thing did come out of that. What? Excuse me. Do you not remember who his caddy was? I don't give a fuck about that crap, man. Who cares about Dolph Ziggler? They made him a heel just to do nothing. I wish Lee was here right now, so we could, so we could just talk about this right now, because because he get, he goes in on this this shit right here, right. and it makes no sense to me neither. How you gonna turn someone heel just to have him lose to a whole bunch of baby faces that don't even get cheered like that? Whatever, yo. <laughs> don't get it. But yo, back to what I was saying before about the whole, about the whole effing show. Freaking, not, not only that, freaking, I saw the, I like, I saw this recent video that he said about a Samoan Genophage. Now, you've never played Mass Effect, so you know, you don't, you don't know how to, basically, he, he, he wanted a Samoan genocide of Samoan wrestlers in, in uh, of, uh, of, well, of the, Samo- of the Samoan wrestlers. Like and then at that point, I realized that that, that this nigga is racist. Cause that's clear as day, man. Cause all, cause not only that, freaking, like, I, like uh, I saw in the comment section of that video that that he that he said some negative, or, or or almost always said some negative about black wrestlers. So I really don't know, don't know what to say to him. See, there you go. Donald Trump became president, man. Come on, don't don't put that on Donald Trump. I don't know. People, people walk around with their chest out. Man, he, man, he, he he was he was doing the, the, this this stuff before breaking Donald Trump was president. I'm, I'm just saying, people in general, he, he, he's fitting the bill. Whatever, man. Uh, now look, let's switch over to uh, um, Raw and SmackDown. Now. now uh, I want to talk about Raw a week ago before we go into this week. Uh, there's something that really stuck out to me in a, in a negative way was the clubs. Got always <laughs> pointing out the negatives. Hey, hey, man! Uh, I, I want to bring up the negatives before I bring up the positives. And like the negative thing that 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 really got to me, which is something WWE has been doing for a while now, is making the club look weak. And it's even worse now because they're a dead attack team champion. And I understand that they want to make Roman Reigns look strong, but 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 they can make him look strong on, over someone else doing it on do mm-hmm. doing it on on, on the club. What do you the, mean? Doing it on the club while they're champions is not the way to go. That's but, the perfect but, way to go. They're champions. Yes, but how, it, how else are you going to yeah, make someone else look strong? And you want to make them yes, strong? Yes, but being the tag the champions. Yes, but you're making the club look weak, and they got a title, and they also have a title match going. Uh, that then and people are going to make. That, that people are gonna think that freaking Enzo and Cass are gonna have a are gonna have the easiest time against them. Come on now, I don't think that. I would actually think they're gonna retain because I think they want to push Big Cass as a single guy. They don't, they don't want them to be there to tag me. Nah, I, I think they I think they want to push by Cass to like win the tag titles first and then you know, climb up the ranks. Yeah. It was good what they did with Roman Reigns. I like that when he beat both of them. As he should, because he is the guy. And I also think that he's going to win the WWE Universal title very, very soon. He's turning everyone's, everyone right now. They're cheering, cheering him like crazy this past episode. We're talking about last week right now. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Roman Reigns hater. No. Can't wait to see your face at WrestleMania when he, when he wins that. WWE Universal title. Yeah, how, the, how the hell is he going to get inserted in, into the Universal title picture? Because, come on, he's a guy. But how are they going to insert him into that, the, like, storyline-wise? He's the guy. It will all fall. They got a month to build WrestleMania. It will all fall into place. No. Trust me. Yeah, and, and people won't like it if they do that. All right, how do you figure? Be- because, because, man, the, the, the current storyline as far as the Universal title goes is with Kevin Owens and Goldberg, and then, and then like most people, most people know that that they're probably gonna have Goldberg squash Kevin Owens, take the title, 
and then him and, and then and then him and Brock Lesnar are gonna face off at WrestleMania for the title. So you're wrong, man. You're wrong. Kevin Owens is gonna win. He's gonna come out victorious. You, man, you, you saying it? You saying this as a freaking? Uh, I don't want him to win. Freaking, uh, freaking! I want him to win just as much as the next guy, but freaking, um, but freaking that that they they basically what they want to do with Goldberg now is like correct the mistakes they made when they when they had him uh, de- yeah. debut the first time. They try to make up for lost time. Fuck that! So I'm gonna go to TNA. You know, you know this this is something I really need to say about TNA, but 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 I, that's gotta wait for a sec because. I want to talk about. I also want to talk about what happened on SmackDown with that battle royal. Oh, that bullshit. Now, now don't get me wrong. The, <laughs> the, the, the whole the whole event of SmackDown itself yeah. was awesome. was head and shoulders better than Raw. Awesome. But and and, no. and that battle royal was epic. But the ending, uh, even though they said ending the draw, it made me laugh. Machi. It made me laugh because. Freaking! They claim that both of their feet hit the floor, but even freaking up, even fucking Stevie Wonder would be able to tell that Styles' feet hit the floor long before freaking Luke Harper's did. Clearly got suplex out the ring first. Word. It's whatever. I mean, that shit was the funniest, man. Like, who writes this stuff? Yeah, make Foley's son. <laughs> I was watching Holy Foley the other day on the WWE. Oh, good God, man! But like, geez, that shit was the funniest. And then you know now, and you know now this week they're gonna have well, what's we'll see tonight? They're, they're gonna face off um, to see who who's gonna face Bray Wyatt at WrestleMania. I'm a huge AJ Styles fan, but I hope I hope we probably that. Honestly, I think I, I think they're probably gonna do it. So then, I'm hoping to see a fatal four way though for the WWE uh, for the WWE title. Better floor. AJ, Ray, Randy, Luke. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, yeah, that sounds good. That sounds amazing. Then also, freaking with, with SmackDown, I think they're trying to push a feud between, what's his face? Um, uh, freaking Dean Ambrose and Baron Corbin. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. Baron Corbin has, he has to come on. Um, he has to come out on top of that. Definitely. Yeah. Look, I, I, I was pissed at how easily he was eliminated, man. It's because the Miz is my man. But we all the Miz, yo. Shoo. Miz is becoming like that guy now, man. I'm telling you, watch when Johnson leaves. He's going he's gonna to become a WWE champion. Right. But, yeah, but how, how the hell is Miz going to become that guy? People hate him. That's why he's become that guy. There's no deal for him. Well, actually, there are heels, but like, uh, but like when you when you think of like true heels, I mean, you can only it's you, like you can only put Miz up there because that's why he's going to be that guy. Because I mean, sense. I mean, don't get me wrong, there are people that don't like Baron Corbin, but they don't, but they don't, they don't dislike him to yeah. the point of the Miz. They dislike the Miz. Hot wife, money, actor, still in WWE. Come on, man. And they, and niggas always constantly say that he can't wrestle. Yeah, he can though. Yeah. Just them damn Bryan kicks a little botchy. Say that for damn Bryan. No, 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 he, no, he, he does that to mock him. Yeah, I know he does it, but leave it for Daniel Bryan. You don't be doing that. It's just botching anyway. Now, how's he, now, how's he going to leave it to Daniel Bryan when Daniel Bryan can't even wrestle? That's why you leave it to Daniel Bryan. It's his shit. Leave it to him. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't think he's going to do that. <laughs> this, this is whack. Nah, nah, but he, he, he just does it to mock him. And and I'll admit, part of me start, start gets annoyed with Daniel Bryan whenever he does what he does to the Miz. But you know that that's just that's just them, them feuding. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm, 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 but let me let me let me say his own though. What you call it? I feel like I feel like NXT needs to needs to fix their roster a little bit. You know, they need to take some of these guys from TNA and they actually you know somebody it's like Eli Drake and. Well, I mean that they, uh, they already got guys from TNA. I'm talking about like, but they're they're coming up to the main roster now. Look, Samoa Joe and AJ. I'm talking about the, like those dudes. Like what about Eric the Young? Young guys. Young guys. I'm talking about the young guys, not the established TNA guys. Uh. Like like Eli Drake. Like Eli Drake. He deserves to be there, man. You know, funny funny thing about about that. 
Let me let me say this ab- ab- about them freaking um what's his face? No TNA. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, how is it that freaking in one fell swoop the broken hardies leave Andrew Galloway? Sad. Cause I mean Drew Galloway, he he was made into a star there. But how you gonna how you gonna let your biggest star at the time, the Hardys, get, get away. Especially Jeff Hardy. Because, like, Jeff, before Matt got there, Jeff Hardy was basically there, it was basically TNA's John Cena. Yeah. And now that you let him get away, along with broken Matt Hardy, and, and how Matt Hardy's been on the come up with, with, and being, uh, with his broken brilliance. Sad. Y'all should be, TNA should be deleted as a whole for that. I mean, I I mean, I don't know what, what they're gonna do with, at this point. Cause like, did, did the Hardys leave with the tag title? Nah, I don't know. They probably did, yo. Cause, they probably did, cause they didn't lose. Cause I mean, if they did, then TNA's in trouble. They just build that company around Eli Drake. Cause I mean, best way to go. They could try and and Almost. I mean, they could try and pull some bullshit that WWE did like many years ago, when Ric Flair left uh, WWE when he when he was world champion, and they tried to make uh, uh, like a replica of the of the world title, but it looked nothing like it. Now I think they're gonna get those titles back. Well, well, what about their expedition of gold? I don't know. We just, we just have to see. I'm... Well. Yeah, but but you know, <laughs> but but with them going, who 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 are they gonna have to like like when you look at Drew Galloway, who 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 are they gonna have to like fill his shoes as far as like maybe mid card or, or like e- maybe lie Drake. That's all I have to say. <laughs> he is the guy. And if he's not in NXT in the next year, I don't know what the hell is going on. Wait a minute, what, what, what's the deal like Drake Camacho and everything? this? Camacho, freaking, remember when Unico was unmasked? And he had that, he had that big dude with him? Eli Drake, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think I'm, I'm looking at someone else. Yeah, you, yeah, man. I think someone else. Eli Drake, nah, man. Mm. Back in life, baby. Yeah, but... But I, but I think the, the build him up to uh, uh, in Eli Drake. It ain't easy. It's a real thing. Yeah, do you think EC3 might leave? He should. He should. He should. I'm. <laughs> yeah. I'm Eli Drake, baby. I mean, I mean, they, you know, I mean, he. he I mean, they like helped him do things that he could never do in WWE. Yeah, but that's because WWE didn't have the patience with him. And WWE is freaking for letting go of EC3. Yeah, well, you know that their loss was was um was TNA's gain, and and they and they built him from the ground up, making him the top heel of the company, then like pretty much the biggest star they had. But, yeah, pretty much. But what's he doing now? Pretty much, I, I don't even know. I haven't watched TNA in so long, man. I don't even care about TNA. I, I just care about Eli Drake, no homo. Cause last time I, I checked, he was, he was just slumming it. He was just slumming it up on the mid card. Yeah, I, he was. He, last time I checked, he was trying to get back into that uh, world title picture. Yeah, and shit. Yeah, but uh, yeah, but freaking. I think what's the face? Lashley still champ. Yeah, yeah, he beat, he beat Eddie. Yo, matter of fact, I watched the last one, the last week episode, and, and I, yo, I was completely lost. Yo, the freaking the rules broke up. You, you, you ain't know that? Nah, man. Freaking, um, what happened was. I like that. Davey Richards and Eddie Edwards getting at it. That's what's up. Freaking what happened was, um. People don't remember those guys from NXT. They were? Yes. Oh. Uh, but anyways, what happened was, um. That, um, freaking Eddie Edwards was having a rematch against Bobby Lashley for the uh, world title. Then David Richards came in and, and, and interfered. Oh, and, I knew that would happen. Damn. 
Uh, and honestly, part of me saw this coming because, like, the week before, when they faced off in that Iron Man match, um, David Richards w- 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 wanted to come out to help, you know, to be by his side. But freaking, um, like, nah. yeah, Eddie, Eddie told him to stay back. Yeah. I thought it would have happened sooner. I thought it would happen as soon as he came back. Yeah. But hey, hey fuck it. It is what it is. Mm. All right, now back to, now back to WWE. Um, now, let's talk about what happened on Raw this week. Yeah. <laughs> awesome show. Now, now, now let me say this. Is really turning out better than I expected. That's I'm, looking like the main event. Fuck that Goldberg crap. I mean, freak. I mean, I'm, I mean, honestly, like I like how the guy Braun Strowman looking like pretty much unstoppable. I mean, Roman Reigns ha- had like, like his his chance to like keep coming back, but like every time he, he was coming back, Braun kept stopping him in his tracks. And threw him into the freaking the freaking corner. Yeah, exploded. man. Did, did, yeah. Did, did you see how? What that the was? fuck? Like, part of me thinks they might have loosened that shit. Yeah, part of me thinks that too, but that that's the way it exploded back. Even if it did loosen it, way to go, because I've never seen some shit like that before. I mean, and and I have to give props to him for taking a bump like that, because exactly. I, cause I know that it just had to be on fire after that. And my man still got up to sign the contract. Yeah. Respect the guy. Respect the bitch. <laughs> nah, shit, 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 shit. Come on, respect that man. I did I gave him a prop for that. Yo, shout out to the new day for always keeping it entertaining and funny with the latest latest spoofs that be happening in the world and shit. Just like what I said before before in the previous episode, they can be just as entertaining without yeah, being without tag tag gems, yep. And only God knows what they're gonna do as the host of WrestleMania. Yeah, only God knows. I hope they I hope they do a better job than what the Rock did. Yeah, the Rock, the Rock was dry. He, he had a match in what nine seconds or some some crap like that. No man, he uh, back when he hosted WrestleMania 27. Oh 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 oh, oh. you talking about that shit? I thought you talking about those. Bro. I thought he hosted the um the one. Uh, no that man, shit. no man. At WrestleMania 32, he 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 was just killing time. Yeah, that was whack though. Because because you know because they were trying to ha- have have it extended to the to the to the four hour mark, so they just had him come in to. To, to, to kill time with the whole flamethrower going on his name stuff and then and then him beating Eric Rowan in nine seconds and then Fruity Pebbles getting his moment. <laughs> Me, the best wrestler ever. Watch your mouth, man. The, he, no, no, he, he's not a wrestler. He, he's, a, he's a sports entertainer, not a wrestler. Wow. Wow. One of those guys. Whatever, whatever, that's how I feel. Cause you are a dummy. Whatever, fool. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but I'm serious. Want to say? Actually, speaking of seeing that, does he does he have anything going for him right now as far as storyline? Nah, cause he, I think he's about to get that that feud with the Miz. He's about to feud with the Miz. Him, him and his girl versus Miz and his girl. And I think he's about to bounce after this. To be honest. <laughs> I think he's about to bounce after this. To be honest, though, but we'll see. Yeah. Oh. Now, now, what I want to talk about next, um, Seth Rollins. Now, now he was he was given an interview on Raw, and he said that unfortunately things might not be looking too good for him as far as going to WrestleMania goes. Indeed. But I mean. I think I think he has like at least like thirty like at least one more month. Yeah, yeah, one one hard month of rehab. I mean, honestly, if he goes at it strong like how Mr. Kennedy did when when he when he tore his lateral muscle, mm-hmm. I think I think he I think he he can make he can make the time. He will. He told Triple H because he'll be there. Cause like back when back when he uh, was the, the the world champion, he tore his ACL, his MCL, and and tore his meniscus. Came yeah. back in what is it, nine months? Yeah, something like that. Reminds me of uh, back when uh, Sean Livingston got injured. Yeah, but he's he was never the same player. Never the same. But player. he still came back, didn't he? 
came back. That, but, that, 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 that's the point of honor. That just him coming back. Yeah, just him coming back. But, but Seth Rollins might never be the same if he rushes back from this. Yeah. That's why he should just take the high road. Just let someone else take his spot. It's going to have. He needs to know that whatever brand he's on is his. Yeah. He's the guy. Well, besides, you know, like. No, 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 no. He, he, he's not the guy. He's the yeah, man. He's the man. My fault. I'm sorry. He's the man. Roman Reigns is the guy. Roman Reigns, you should spam me right now. I'm fucking your shit up. But freaking, um, what's his face? The, uh, Seth Rollins, um, when he came back from the, from the injury, it, it looked like he, he never lost a step. So I think he, he'll be good. Yeah, he will be. And, and to be fair, this time he, he only, he only tore his ACL. Yeah. And the last time he tore his ACL, his MCL, and his PCL. So, so he should be good. But, but you know, let, let's switch off from Seth Rollins and talk about Fastlane. Uh, a few more matches got announced for it. Um, yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. They, I don't know why they just um, announced the matches like instead of just waiting the fucking the week the week of to do it. Like, yeah. I, I think uh, yeah, I think we're gonna do that so they can build it up. Yeah. But it's, Whatever. So like, was so like, what else? Freaking Samoa Joe versus Sami Zayn got announced. Yeah, that's gonna be a good one. Yeah, you know. I got uh, both my guys in one in, in one match together. That's gonna be awesome. They're most likely gonna. Ha- like, I predict they're gonna have Joe go over. Yeah, Joe's gonna go over. But I honestly, I like Joe. Joe's one of my. Joe's in my top five. But I, I want Sami to go over because he needs it for his career, man. It's sad how his career is doing right now. I don't know. Uh, I don't know why, but for some reason. Like the way they're portraying Sami Zayn got me thinking that he's that he's like a glorified jobber, like how yeah, like how Dolph Ziggler used to be. True, being a glorified yeah. jobber, going around telling, "Hey, I'm Dolph Ziggler." Well, Dolph Ziggler, you are a dummy. Yeah, and, and then then also they got Nia Jax versus Sasha Banks. Nia Jax on the squash, you know, yeah. pretty ass. You know, there's one thing that still annoys me. Why the hell do they announce her weight? They do? Yeah. What's up with the, I never noticed that. that. What do they say? What, how much she weigh? 272. God damn. God, she probably likes to be known. Because like, cause I heard she before this, she was a plus size model. Oh, really? So she probably wants to be, you know, maybe, like, yeah, hey, you know, big girl and everything. Well, <laughs> hey. maybe she should, well, maybe she should get plus size naked. Okay. That 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 turned. <laughs> Let's see what, what else got announced. Actually, I think that's all that that did get announced. But I think, I think uh, we got that cruiserweight match, cruiserweight kickoff. Oh uh, oh yeah, freaking um, Jack Gallagher versus Neville for the cruiserweight title. Yeah, and they got a, a kickoff with uh, Rich Swan and uh, and um, Rich Rich Swan and. And uh, what's that dude's name? T.J. Perkins versus uh, Tony Nese and, and Drew Gulak, whatever. Oh, 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 um, Drew Gulak. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, but I want to talk more about the Cruiserweight Championship match. Cause that's like what's more important. They, they, they just got for the other matches. They, they, they just got the Cruiserweight out there to give them some exposure. Yeah, give them some. Yeah. But, but actually, back to but wait a minute. After um, Jack Gallagher and Neville faced off, I think Rick Swan should go back into it because he didn't get his rematch. Because because he got injured. Oh, that's why they gave it to Gallagher. Yeah, right, I know. I won't notice that. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. He, he he had he he got he got like a minor ankle injury, so they couldn't do it. He's in the he's in the kickoff. So. Yeah. Um. So so what's his face? Um. Well, before I get my predictions, but what what do you, what do you think of Neville's heel turn? I like it. He's long overdue. And uh, I like I like w- what they did with his theme, like it, like you know, like how subtle of the of a change they did. Yeah, that, that, that came overnight. I mean, the, I mean, the only thing they did was like add a guitar with it, and then and then just slow down the theme. Yeah. Like it's like how amazing, how subtle of a change they can make for it to be, you know, for it to sound like, like a heels theme. And you know. Uh, I'm, I'm really I'm like honestly I don't care who wins this match because I, I like both of them, man. Yeah, I, I, I can see Gallagher winning it. 
I, I want to see you. I want to see yeah. never hold that title for as long. Yeah, and you become the world universal yeah. champion. And and, WWE. Yeah. and uh, and you know, uh, I, I really like what this. Uh, I, I really like what this gimmick, freaking uh, Jack Gallagher's gimmick. Yeah, the, 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 the gentleman. Yeah, but it's also it's also another stereotypical gimmick. Yeah. But then again, you know, cool. with with foreign superstars, uh, or, or well, superstars that aren't white, you know, they, they uh, like you know, stereotypical gimmicks are are at a, at a, at a norm. Yeah, thanks. I mean, I mean, let, let's look at at the prime time players and crime time, you know. Yeah, especially crime time. Papa forty, check the rollie. And you know, I, I I never noticed something, but until um, someone pointed it in out. Brooklyn too, they gotta be from Brooklyn, like, really. And, and like, I, I never noticed something about both teams until somebody pointed out. But the way they broke up was was, was almost exactly the same. Yeah, the big guy wanted the wanted the spotlight. No, 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 no. No, I mean like the match wise. Oh, like hey, like you know how they do. Like it was almost exactly the same. But like like they had that one dude in there get squashed. And, and then, then the other person came in and attacked him. All I know is Tyson Nail as a single predator sucks. But you know, good things were on the horizon. Was on were on the horizon eventually for the Palm Down players because they did reunite. Please come back. Yo, I will never come forget back. that that damn heel promo that Tyson O'Neil tried to give off. Yeah. That nigga would not stop stuttering. Yeah, I was. mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. I know I stutter. <laughs> but this nigga w- was was sounding like a freaking broken record out there, man. I, I like, like I was on I was on the verge of freaking muting mute my TV. How much? I mean, how, how well? Um, who do you have on the, for the uh, tag team championships? World well, tag team champion. Who you gonna go with? I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm glad the club finally got the titles, but I want to see Enzo and Cass win. Cause, yeah, cause like. They should have won the NXT tag team title back when they NXT. The club needs to retain, though. They need no tag team. Mm. Yeah. They're not in- as entertaining as Enzo and Cass. They'll always be good. Uh, they need those titles. And, you know, somebody. actually, uh, a, a, a thing with Enzo and Cass, they're pretty much in the same boat as the New Day where they don't need the tag titles to be entertaining. That's what I'm saying. Like, they, don't, they don't need them. That but that's mainly because of Enzo. Yeah. And Big Cass is wrestling. Who well, you got for the... Uh, for the universe. Honestly, I really want Kevin Owens to retain, but I but I just have this fear in my mind that they're gonna have him get squashed. I I am praying I am praying to God. I just hope that, not on dummy shit. Like seriously, I'm praying to God that they don't do this, that they don't have this nigga get squashed. Basically. Uh, and, but but if that doesn't happen, I'm hoping that Chris Jericho pops up. Fuck yeah, shit up real quick. Yeah, because because you know, you've noticed for like the past weeks on Raw, he hasn't been there. He's been at the WWE Live getting attacked by Kevin Owens. Yeah, so you know, like all this could be building up for him to you know finally. All take the strap off him at WrestleMania. Ooh, that's a good one right there. I mean, I, I mean, I, I, I really like the sound of that. That's a good one. But actually, you know, I, I, I just, I just realized something that if, that if, if they did that and Jericho won the title WrestleMania, you know what that, that would do for him? That would make him a, a, another, a, a, a second grand, a, a second Grand Slam champion. Because he was Grand Slam champion before, but now he can get it again with because. Because he had already, because the because the undisputed title still counts as the WWE title, and he and he won that. So if he won the freaking um, the what's his face, if he if he won the Universal title, that would be it. He he he, he would probably go down in history as the best wrestler ever. Because then he will officially won every current title right now. Yeah. Because, I mean, right now, that that still sort of stands because he won the U.S. title. Speaking of which, no offense to Jericho, but he hasn't really been doing much with the U.S. title. Does he need to? Mm, I, 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 Chris Jericho, damn it. I, I mean, I guess not, but, like, 
you, you, I'm, but you want to, but you'd want every title to be, to be important, you know, for people to remember the title. But like, freaking, what's his face? This is, is well, like when I think of of, of that, frick, actually, I also think of Dean Ambrose, who's the who's the IC champion, but he hasn't been doing much with it. You know what I'm saying? But 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 to be fair, I think they are, I think they're still trying to build up him and Baron Corbin for the title. Yeah, Baron Corbin's gonna take it off. Oh, maybe at WrestleMania. Yeah, probably. Um, yeah, probably. So we'll, we'll see though. But I don't know, man. Baron Corbin, he needs the WWE championship. You don't need no little. Uh, no, 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 honestly, I, I think he, he should get the IC title first to, to establish himself as, uh, uh, you know, uh, as, as, as the monster heel that he is. Yeah. And then once he has that, you know, keep it, keep it for, like, oh, for, for like a month or two, maybe, and, and then have him lose it and then have him go into the world title picture. Now, now, folks, we, 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 we've come to the time where, where, where we have reached the end, you know. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, break it. Man, knock it off with that. <laughs> you know, all good things must come to an end. Thanks, this was a good one. But I wanna, we want to thank you for chilling with us here. At the Braun and Braun podcast. No, no, this this has been Hitman Cos and your boy Post Nineties, and we out.